Welcome to the Rebel to Succeed podcast. It's your boy, Inc. Anthony Williams, the founder of RebelToSucceed.com. The purpose of this podcast is to share tips, advice, and strategies to help you improve in all areas of your life. My mission is to make a positive difference in your life to help you live your best life. Now let's get it. What up, good people? It's your boy, Ann from Rebel to Succeed, coming at y'all with another episode um, in this podcast. I'm going to be talking about um, the power of the power of having a queen in your life. Um, it is very powerful to have a female um, in your life, um, someone that you want to protect, um, that you want to provide for, that you want to um, live your life with, that you want to experience the greatest in life with. Um, just having that female, that, that queen in your life um, can literally drive you to do some impossible things, man. Um, and a lot of people, they may think, they may look at, uh, um, there's there's a community, uh, community out there who look at females as like a negative thing. Um, I forgot what they, uh, I think it's called uh, MGTOW or something like that. Um, you know, I think it's, it's, it's something along the lines of men going their own way. Um, and I'm not sure exactly like the details on that whole movement, but I came across a couple of vi- a couple of videos on YouTube about the MGTOW movement, men going their own way. Um, and it's, I guess it's basically just trying to empower men on, you know, just, uh, I guess just, just being by themselves and just kind of like avoiding women. Like I said, again, I don't know the exact details on that whole community, that whole movement. But I say that to say, like, I know there's people, uh, there's men out there who don't, who don't really like see the value in having a queen, man. It's, 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 it's having a wife, having a, a, a female in your life, man. It, it, it can drive you to do some, some things that you never thought that was possible. So first off, when you have a wife, when you have a female, when you have a boo, when you have uh, a girlfriend, when you have a, any type of female in your life, someone that you want to provide for, they're going to drive you to do some impossible things. Um, so I say that to say, like, look, man, um, you know, when you have someone like that in your life, someone that you love and that you want to look out for, um, you're going to do whatever it is in your power to do what you have to do to be able to make sure that they're OK. Um, and that can literally drive you like there's, you know, there's a lot of uh, men out um, in society or in the world, just period, that um, they, they've accomplished some things in their lives and they, they never thought they could because, you know, they were trying to, uh, you know, impress a woman. Um, I mean, just that just that on in itself. Um, a lot of men are driven to do a lot of they're they're driven to you know achieve a lot of success in their life because they want to impress a woman they want to you know they want to get the girl you know what I mean and I say you know the power in that is you know why why not use that I mean there's nothing wrong with you know uh, using that type of uh, you know motivation to be able to improve your life why not use that. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with with using women and using, uh, you know, that type of motivation to to be able to improve your lifestyle them to, to reach your goals. You know what I mean? Now, I, I wouldn't go out and say, you know, chase women. You know what I mean? Just use that channel. That. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like with a with, with a sexual transmutation. You know what I mean? I, I, I talked about this in one of my. In one of my videos, and I and I I'll actually do a um, I, I'll do a um, a podcast episode about that, but I, I don't want to veer our topic too much because you know sometimes you know your boy Ant can you know veer our topic, but I want to stay on topic as far as you know this whole episode. But you know, there's, there's it's kind of like the, the same thing. You know, you want to use that motivation to be able to impress the woman, to be able to uh, you know to to improve your life, to be able to reach some goals to be able to do some different things. You know what I mean? So um, there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? 
Like everybody has their motivation. Everybody has their thing in life that they're trying to that they're trying to achieve. Um, everybody has that thing that they, that drives them to be able to, you know, to reach their goals. Um, everybody has that thing. And like I said, why not use it? Why not use the woman to be able to do that? Um, you know, there's there's some pe- there's some people out there who have, uh, you know, like their their thing is that, you know, they want to provide for their kids. I mean, me personally, um, you know, I, I want to, you know, do whatever I can or whatever, you know, I can in my power to be able to to provide for my for my wife and my kids. You know what I mean? Like, that's my motivation. That's my drive to keep going. You know what I mean? Whenever I want to quit and I want to or I think about quitting or something like that, even though I, I don't nowadays, you know, it, it's, I love what I do. I love putting out content. I love, you know, um, putting, you know, putting out podcast episodes. So I, I really don't need much motivation because I just love what I'm doing. But, um, you know, if if that was to ever happen, you know, the first thing I'm going to think of is, well, OK, well, if I don't do this, how is this going to affect my kids? How is this going to affect my wife? How is this going to affect my future? You know what I mean? Nowadays, I'm more driven about uh, my future. You know what I mean? Like my my experiences, you know, things that I want to achieve. Um, and I know that, you know, um, certain I got to do certain things because I'm thinking, you know, two, three years ahead. I'm thinking about the future. What I'm doing right now is going to affect my future. And that's, you know, that's a lot of things, not to be our topic again, but I know that's a lot of things that a lot of people um, out in the world um, that they, they don't understand that whole thing as far as, you know, you, 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 you a lot of times you put in the work now to read the reward, the re, uh, rewards later. You, you see what I'm saying? So you, you got to be able to sacrifice and and uh, not worry about achieving things right now. You know what I mean? But again, um, you know, it's it's nothing wrong with having that queen, man. You know, it's having that support. You know what I mean? Um uh, I told my wife at one point, I told her, I said, look, man, um, you know, your support um, and your belief in me and to be able to achieve, you know, my goals, um, you know, it helps me out a lot because, you know, she's my life partner. She's my, you know, my, my everything. You know what I mean? I love my wife. You dig what I'm saying? So it's very important for her to believe in me. You know what I mean? Because ultimately, you know, I, I'm out here, you know, working and and grinding and doing all of this stuff for her. You know, I'm grinding for my kids. You know what I mean? My kids future. I'm doing everything I can in my power to be able to provide and change my family's future. You see what I'm saying? And and that's why I want to, you know, I want to emphasize the power of, you know, Basically, you know, trying to make other people's dreams come true. You see what I'm saying? Um, that's when you know that you're really living in, you know, uh, in your purpose and you're doing something bigger than yourself. When you're, you're when you're trying to make somebody else's dream come true. You see what I'm saying? Like, you got to realize that life is not just about you, man. We were all put here to empower and, and help each other and improve each other's lives. You see what I'm saying? So. Why not go out and try to make things happen for other people? And in the process, you get some rewards from it. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's you got to stop being selfish, man. You know what I mean? Use other people, you know what I mean, to be able to, you know, Im- improve their lives and yourself. You see what I'm saying? Like, when you help others, you ult- ultimately you're helping yourself in, the, in you know, in, in, in return anyway. So, you know what I mean? I, I always use... My wife and my kids, you know what I mean? My my son, my daughter, and my wife, man. And like, they're the most important people in my life. You see what I'm saying? And, and everything that I do is centered around trying to improve their lives. And, I mean, just listen to the power in that. You know what I mean? I'm out, I am I work for my family. I'm at their service. You see what I'm saying? They are my, uh, my, my stepping stone to greatness. You see what I'm saying? They're, they're my stepping stone to, to, to improve. You know what I mean? I'll do everything in my power to be able to provide the best life that I can for them. So that, in, that, that may include me improving myself to be able to provide more. You know what I mean? That, that, that may be, you know, reading books. That may be, 
you know, learning how to do different things on my own. That may be going to classes. That may be improving my body. Uh, that may be, you know, improving my, 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 my learning skills, improving my mind. You know what I mean? Like everything that I need to do to be able to provide, pr provide for them, I'm going to do. So it's kind of like, you know what I mean? Like it's, they're, they're pushing me to greatness because I want the best for them. So I got to be able to improve myself to be able to provide the best for them. You see what I'm saying? So it's, I, I hope it's getting through. You know what I mean? Like it's just, just, just look at who you're doing it for. You see what I'm saying? It, it, like that's the, that's one of the most powerful motivations in life is to be able to, you know, do it for somebody else. You see what I'm saying? Like, I know there's a lot of people out there, you know, um, ultimately in the black community that they, they, you know, they don't come from rich, richness. They don't come from money. They don't come from, uh, you know, uh, they don't, they don't have a silver spoon in their mouth. You know what I mean? Uh, ultimately, or, or most of the time, you know, they come from the slums. They come from the hood. Like they're in the hood somewhere. They in the slums. They in the projects, you know, trying to survive. You, you see what I'm saying? So, um, when you when you got the opportunity to make some great things happen in your life and you got the opportunity to make some great things happen in your life and possibly, uh, you know, in the future, change your family's lives. It would behoove you to be able to keep continue to do what you got to do to be able to change that, to be able to do that and to be able to accomplish your goals, to be able to help your family out. You see what I'm saying? So you got to keep pushing, man. Think about your grandma. You know what I mean? Like if you if you a college kid and you in school, think about your grandma. Think about your mom. You know what I mean? If you if you not studying enough, if you're not studying hard enough and you slipping on your grades, you're going to have to wake up because if you don't, you know what I mean? Pass this class, you may not be able to get that job that you need to be able to get your mom out the hood, to be able to get your dad out the hood, to be able to get your sister or your brother out the hood. You got to think about other people because it's not just about you. You see what I'm saying? So that the power in that is 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 crazy. It's crazy. The decisions that you make at that point, when you look at it that way, the decisions that you make, it it it's it, like it other people is going to be affected by that. So you you like you gotta you gotta step outside yourself and to be able to look at you know the decisions that you make on a day to day basis and say, okay, is this going to affect my family? My grandma, my mom, my dad, is this going to is this going to put some money in their in their in their pockets? Is this going to change their lives positively? Is this going to help them in some type of way in the future? You see what I'm saying? So that's the motivation that you need. You know what I mean? That that, that that's the man, it's the craziest. You know what I mean? But ultimately, I want to, you know, take it back to the woman. You know what I mean? There's a lot of uh, men out there who's changed their lives tremendously they they have changed their lives tremendously because they were trying to impress a woman they were trying to you know they 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 promised their wife that they would get him this house they promised they this uh, their wife or this girl that they were going to you know to make this dream happen for them you know what i mean and then in the process they didn't basically build their whole life up and and change themselves and morphed into the best version of themselves just to be able to make that happen so having a woman in your life, bro, like is is crazy. You know, ultimately, a lot of women, what they do is, is, you know, they're I mean, I'm not sure if this is every woman, but most of the time, most women, what they're going to do is they're going to seek out um, they're going to seek out um, the, the best possible man um, and be attracted to the man and, and you know, and track uh, basically attract the man in their life that they believe is going to be able to do. To, you know, to provide for their offspring, to, to be able to provide for them and their offspring. You know what I mean? And, and, and normally what the men do is they uh, they go out and they, you know, basically either prove them right or prove them wrong. You know what I mean? But I know that, you know, not to sound cocky, but I know my wife, you know, she's probably thinking like, man, I chose right because I'm, I'll, I'll tell you right now, man, I do whatever I got to do for my wife and my kids to be able to provide for them. You see what I'm saying? And I can't sit around and not do nothing. I can't sit around and not make things happen. I know that ultimately every decision that I make, any important decision that I make in my life is going to ultimately affect my wife and my kids. 
So that, I mean, that's the power in having, being a leader of your family, having a family, having a wife and kids, because you, they're going to, they're going to push you. Just them being in your life, them, be, them being alive is going to push you to do some amazing things, man. Amazing things. Um, a lot of, a lot of, uh, men are driven towards, you know, sex. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm, I'm going to talk about this in a different episode, but I want to drive this point home that women are very important, man. Women are, women are very, very, very important when it comes to success in a man's life. You know what I mean? Like men are going to do whatever they got to do to get sex. Right. So there's a lot of men out, out there who have, um, They've they've done some crazy things just to be able to have some you know sex with a woman. You know what I mean? So look at the power in that. You see what I'm saying? Look at the power in that, man. Like it's you can literally like women, you know, realize the power that they have over men and to be able to help them, they can help they can help them to be able to achieve some great things. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you, you don't always have to uh, you know, give your man sex. You know what I mean? But I mean, that's 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 a different talk for a different. Like I said, I'm going to talk about that in another episode. But it's it's very important that men understand that. You know what I mean? Use your woman. If you look at a lot of men, a lot of successful men out there in the world, I can guarantee you that there was probably a woman in their life that they were either trying to impress, trying to have sex with, trying to, um, you know, uh, basically protect and provide for, man. There's always... There's a saying that behind every great man is a great woman, man. And I believe, you know, beside every great man is a great woman. You know what I mean? You, the woman is not behind the man. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a feminist, man. I believe in women's rights and all of that other type of stuff. I believe there's a lot of it's like an equal it's an equal uh, partnership, especially when it's, you know, you have a man and a woman, a wife and a husband. You see what I'm saying? Like it's. It's it's an equal partnership, man. You know what I mean, and, and we help each other. So um, I say, beside every great man is a great woman. You see what I'm saying, and 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 you, you I mean, it's just look at it, man. You got, you know, Jay Z, Beyonce. You got, uh, you know, the Obamas. You know what I mean. You got, uh, you got, um, who else? You got, um, who's another couple I like? I like uh, Alicia Keys and uh. uh Forgot her husband's name. Um, um, Swiss Beats. Uh, um, a lot of powerful. A lot of it's a lot of powerful black couples out there that I can't think of right now. But I mean, it's not even just about black couples. You know, you have a lot of white couples. You know what I mean? Um, but like again, again, it's just it's a partnership, man. And they and they, and they drive each other. But for men, I wanted, you know, just to drive this far home for men. For men. Like the woman can drive you to do some amazing things, man. And you need to use that to your advantage. Like understand that women have power. You see what I'm saying? And understand that, you know, hey, you, 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 men like to have, you know, sex with women. You see what I'm saying? And it's, it's nothing wrong with that. We were created for that. You know what I mean? Women like to have sex with men too, but men are driven way more than women are when it comes to sex. So, so, and I say, you know, use that. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing wrong with using that. Try to impress the woman. But for you to impress that woman, you got to go out there and you got to get yourself together. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, it's, I hope, I hope I'm, I'm getting a point across. But, you know, when, when men, when women come around, men is going to straighten up. You know what I mean? They're going to straighten up the house. They're going to straighten up their look because they want to impress the woman. They, they, you know, they want to be successful. You see what I'm saying? They're going to make themselves successful to be able to attract the woman because the woman is going to be attracted to that success. She's going to be attracted towards, you know, order and, and, and security. You know what I mean? So you got to get your shit together. You can't be sitting around playing the game all day, watching the TV all day. You're not making, you don't have no ambition. You don't have no goals. You don't, you're not going nowhere. You see what I'm saying? And for you to be able to attract and impress that woman, you got to be able to make some things happen in your life. You got to be going somewhere. So use that. Use use that as your motivation. You know what I mean? Use that as your motivation, for, you know, for success. There's nothing wrong. I see nothing wrong with it. You know what I mean? I see nothing wrong with it. But, yeah, it's your boy, Ian. I just wanted to give you guys, I had something... I had that on my mind. 
um, you know, in this episode, I wanted to share that with you guys. You know what I mean? The power of having a woman in your life and the power of, you know, just, yeah, just basically just using women as motivation, man. You know what I mean? Women are, are you know, great, uh, great. They're, they're great human beings, man. You know what I mean? And, and, and they can, they have a lot of power um, and they can drive. They, they, they're kind of like the, the drivers of success in society. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I say use it to your advantage. You know what I mean? For all the men out there, recognize that, you know, and, and recognize and recognize how powerful that is and how you can use that to be able to change, you know, your life. You know, if you're married, you know, you, you, you can use that as, you know, use your family as your motivation to be able to improve your life and ultimately improve your family's life. And if you're single, you know, use that drive that you have to be able to that use that drive that you have to, to you know, to want to attract a woman to be able to improve your life as well. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's your boy, Ant, um, from Rebel to Succeed. I just wanted to share that with you guys, um, you know, quick tip with you guys. I, you know, hopefully the episode, ha you know, hasn't been uh, too long. But I want to invite you, you know, if you like this, you know, this type of content, of course, your boy, Ant, going to keep putting out this content. I'm going to keep giving you guys this work, keep giving you guys this positivity, knowing whatever I got to do. You know what I mean? Because, you know, this this is what I'm here for, man. They motivate you guys and educate you guys and keep giving you all this work, man, to the day I die. So, you know, yes, yeah, rebel to succeed to the day I die, man. Reaching everyone by exercising love. I invite you to um to show somebody some love today. You know, do something nice, do something kind, improve somebody else's life. You know, put the focus on helping somebody, give to somebody today, give to the homeless, man. Help somebody build somebody up. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, yeah, just 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 give, you know, ultimately just give. That's what it's all about. That's what life is about, man. You will find that if you put others before you and you sacrifice and you, and you give to others and build them up, you will find that your life will be improved as well. So, yeah, it's your boy, Ann from Rebel to Succeed. Um, if you like this content, I invite you to, you know, to comment, like and subscribe to the to the uh, to the podcast. Um, and I'll talk to you guys yeah, I'll see you guys and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. I want to thank you for joining me today and listening to this podcast. If you found this episode helpful or valuable in any way, then I encourage you to leave an honest review and subscribe to the Rebel to Succeed podcast for future episodes. To receive more content and value, make sure to visit the Rebel to Succeed website at www.rebeltosucceed.com. And finally, always remember that to succeed in life, you have to reach everyone by exercising love. So make sure to show somebody some love today. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you next time.